Today, we're exploring Pike Place Market in Seattle, Washington. Flying fish and bouquets of flowers attract visitors to this public market near the waterfront in downtown Seattle. Opened in 1907, this is one of the country's oldest continuously operating farmer's markets and is today the number one tourist attraction in Seattle. Pike Place Market is located on a hillside overlooking the Puget Sound along First Avenue between Pike and Virginia Streets. The market is conveniently located within walking distance of most of the major hotels in downtown Seattle and near the Link Light Rail. In this video, we'll wander through the main market hall, Pike Place and Post Alley, visit the original Starbucks, and see the famed bubblegum wall. Oh, and we'll eat lots of great food. Let's check it out. Entering from Pike Street, you come to the iconic public market sign. You'll see plenty of other people taking pictures and selfies here, so feel free to join in. Once inside, you come to one of the most iconic images of Seattle, the flying fish of the Pike Place Fish Market. The main market hall stretches for blocks. Flower stalls, fish stands, produce merchants, and craft sellers bring their goods here daily to entice visitors and locals alike. There are a couple viewpoints off the main market hall to gaze at the Puget Sound. The building looks like just one floor from the east side, but from the west side, you'll see that this is several stories tall. Neon signs help guide visitors down to the multiple layers of shops. Outside the main market hall is Pike Place and Post Alley. Pike Place is a real place, not just a certain Starbucks coffee blend. Merchants sell their produce and seafood on Pike Place and Post Alley. This outdoor area of the market lets you smell the fresh air of the Pacific Northwest. Vendors out here sell everything from seafood to seasoned corn on the cob. Down this street are some of the best spots to get breakfast and lunch food, like Bleacher's Cheese and La Panere. There are lots of cute stores down here too. I bought some local goods at the Made in Washington gift shop. Just know that navigating this part of the market can be tricky because of the steep hills. Along Pike Place is the original Starbucks. The line forms early and stays long throughout the day as people wait to order their favorite drinks from this 1975 store. This is technically the second Starbucks because the 1971 Starbucks that was a block away burned down. Once inside, you can browse specialty merchandise and take in the ambiance of this unique store. If you don't want to wait in this line, head across the street to First Avenue for a regular Starbucks location. Also, you should check out the Starbucks Reserve, which is located in the Capitol Hill area. Located down below the main level of the market is the Gum Wall. There's an interesting tale behind the origins of this attraction. The story goes that the theater that is down here was tired of concert goers leaving chewed bubblegum underneath their seats, so they banned gum from the theater. People who were chewing their gum when trying to enter the theater started to stick their chewed gum on the brick wall outside. Over the years, the amount of gum stuck to the walls has grown and now takes up most of the wall space in this alley. It's a bit disgusting if you think about it, but it certainly is a different way to leave your mark on Seattle. Okay, so you could spend days here eating all of your meals in Seattle. To help you focus in, I'd recommend Biscuit Bitch, Bleacher's Cheese, La Panere, The Crumpet Shop, and Three Girls Bakery, just to name a few to get you started. Biscuit Bitch opens at 8 a.m. and right now only takes online orders. 
there's a posted wait time at the door, which quickly spikes to over an hour. I'd recommend ordering online and waiting for the text message that tells you that your order's ready. Otherwise, you'll be standing out on First Avenue, possibly for more than an hour. I got the straight up and sausage biscuit. The biscuits though, were fantastic. Bleacher's Cheese is home to one of the best cups of tomato soup I've ever had. Their grilled cheese and mac and cheese are fabulous. Bleacher's Cheese also has a location in New York City in the Flatiron District. La Panere is a fantastic bread and pastry store, which also has a long line that forms early. But everyone I've talked to agrees it's well worth the wait. One morning, I got a delicious crumpet from the Crumpet Shop, which is on the First Avenue side of the market. A crumpet is a bread that reminds me a bit of an English muffin. Mine came with egg and butter and was delicious. I honestly think you can't go wrong with the food around Pike Place Market. I really enjoy Pike Place Market. For being such a tourist attraction, it was pretty clean and orderly. While there are plenty of attractions in the Seattle area, I definitely plan to spend a good amount of your time at Pike Place Market. You may want to do what I did on my trip to Seattle, which was to visit Pike Place for meals in between seeing the different sites around downtown. For more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Instagram at Traveling Tips. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.